seven years, our own Nate Burkus has painted your walls, hung your curtains, rearranged your furniture, and won your heart like no other. But today, he's stepping away from decorating and into your lives. Morning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Three kids, a minivan, one whole day. Are you wet? <gasps> we eat a bite of this? Whoa. Where's your house? This way? This way. Nick takes over for a stay-at-home mom. Then, imagine walking into your high school reunion with Nate on your arm. And stay tuned for Rocker Rick Springfield. Get <laughs> Next. So I want to read you an email I got from uh, Dana. She's a hard-working, stay-at-home mother, like so many of you. She has three children, and she's from West Virginia. This is what she says. Oprah, I need a mommy break. I have a healthy, loving family, so I don't mean to complain. But there are days when I want to pull a David Blaine and be locked up in a plexiglass box just to escape the sounds and activity at my house. Well, we had an out-of-the-box idea on how to help. Uh, but first, we needed to see inside Dana's life. Now, she thinks we're doing a show on stressed out mommies. Well, First thing I do every morning, make my coffee. 6 a.m., our hardworking mom enjoys the only moments of quiet in her 16-hour workday. An hour later, Dana awakens her three sleeping cuties, 10-year-old Brittany, 8-year-old Brian, and 2-year-old Brayton. 8.15, school's about to start. We're good. Have a good day. Yeah, buckle. <laughs> Got an hour to feed him, change him, get maybe a bed made. We have to change your day for a day. We have to um, go pick up the older kids now and start round two of the day. Oh, yeah. watch. Careful. Off to gymnastics. <laughs> Third coffee of the day. I'm going to head home and start on dinner. To give Dana a one-day break, we called on a guy who's never let us down, not ever. You know him as our own cutie pie decorator. He's also the king of befores and afters. Dana, hold on. Help is on the way. Take a look. Good morning. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Hi. Oh, my gosh. So, um... Oh. Hi, good morning. You are going to get a much-deserved mommy break today. I've been studying what a day in the life of Dana actually means, and I'm here okay. to do everything for you today. And I'm sending you to go have an amazing day. You need some coffee. I think you need some coffee. Let's do it. Here's my dishes. You'll have to get rid of that. I'm going to do that for you. <laughs> this is one of the things that I've got to figure out. I'm trying to find paper. There's this little one. You're going to need bigger than that. I am, right? Yeah. Scary. Do you want me to write like, everything you have to do? Anything that you were planning on doing today. OK. I leave here at 8.30. What time does he nap? Groceries for dinner. All right, so wait. Let me just go over the list really quick. OK, so wake up kids, feed them. Mm -hmm. Straighten Brit's hair, fine. Off to school at 8.30. I have no idea where the school is. That might be a problem. This is Brian. Hey, buddy. Hey. How are you? Good. Good. I'm Nate. Rise and shine. Brett. Brett. Time to wake up. I went to the meet someone. Hi. This How is are Nate. You? I have no idea what I'm doing right now. This is hilarious. Got a lot of stuff in the closet, huh? It's both. They share it's both. the closet. Okay. Are all the closets in the house like this? Worse. Yeah, worse. This is all the information I need, which I need to put in my BlackBerry. So mom won't be home all day. <laughs> nope. But I'm, like, a particularly fun guy to hang out with. Yeah. Trust me. Probably. Are you cool with the hair thing, with the headband today? Yeah. All right, that would really help me out. I got out of a hair straightening thing. What do you thought about that? That's really exciting for me. I wasn't quite sure how to do that. All right. Hello, big boy. Time to wake up. Unky Nate here is going to take you <laughs> for a while. I don't think Nate knows what he's in for. OK, let's bring out Nate. <laughs> that is such a cool idea. That is such a 
cool idea to get Nate. So the question is, okay, you're standing on the you're sitting on the kitchen counter when she comes in in the yeah. morning. How'd you get 5 30. in? Five thirty. Five thirty. Yeah. Her in husband the house? Mark actually was in on the whole thing. Okay, her husband's so, in. Yeah, her okay. husband sent us, you know, the information and all that. So yeah. Oh, that's, that's how. how I, it, that, yeah, that's how I got, in, got the house. in the house. Right. So, uh, <laughs> like, how did Nate get in the kitchen? So. I'm told that what we're about to see is very real. Our crew was instructed to stand back and just let Nate do his uh, own thing on his own. No teams of carpenters. Nobody. No <laughs> legions of uh, assistants. Just Nate, three kids, and a minivan. Yep. Okay? That's it. All right. OK, Dana, let's go. Say bye to mommy. As Dana makes her getaway, Nate gets down to business. Do you guys know how to get to school from here? Let's go, guys. Have an awesome day. Come here, hug. Thanks. Have a great day. Thanks, buddy. I'll see you later. So listen, Braden, here's the deal. You're going to come with me to do all these funny things, and then afterwards we're going to go have lunch, and then we're going to go see the train, OK? I still have no this way? I don't think that's where we go. That is where we go. No way. Is it where we go? Hey, Brayden, where's your house? This way? This way. Yeah? OK, let's try it. He's like the easiest baby. I mean, it's 9 in the morning, but we're good. Salami and cheese and sandwich packed for Mark. Oh, and I could do their lunches, too, right now, which would be awesome. You know what I'm doing? I'm making Daddy's lunch. I love fun No, 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 no. Mm -mm. You know what I have to do? I have to put these away. Whoa. Whoa, look at all these dishes, huh? A million. You know what, let me do that part, because those are sharp, all right? Table is already set for dinner. Quite proud of myself, if I have to say. Whoa. Brayden? Brayden! Whoa, Whoa. everybody! Whoa. Whoa. I know! Come here, buddy. We need to bring you back inside. Do you want me to read this, this book with you? All right. Here, come here, sit on my lap. Let's see. Are you wet? Do you need a new diaper? I want to get a haircut right away. That is what we're going to do today. Uh-oh, what's this? How come this is leaking? Can we change your shirt? Yeah. OK. Hey, buddy. We have to get a shirt for you. Ready? Uh-oh. And oof. Ta-da. Hey, it fits. All right, let's go. Extremely proud of myself right now because I have two binkies. I have the blanket. I have the chocolate milk. We're going to get a haircut. Yay! <laughs> he needs a trim. <laughs> Why are you sticking your tongue out? Ugh. Well, don't put the hair in your mouth. Come here. <laughs> Why are you putting the hair in your mouth? Come here. Let's see you. Perfect. Let's go. I'll go and bye bye. Should we buy some perfume for mommy? Careful, don't put it in your eyes. That's where we're going to go. Hi. We need two um, for the train, please. Are you all right? Come here. Is that the train that I hear? Are you so happy? There's the train. Yeah. I had no expectations of what today would be. But actually, you know, it's not bad. Not bad. First of all, I got to say, that that is one well-mannered two-year-old. He's adorable. Yeah, he was amazing. OK. We're going to see how the rest of the day went when we come back. That was amazing. She let you stay with her children. <laughs> oh. Coming up, 
It's exactly 12 hours since this started, and I literally feel like I've been hit by a truck. Oh, Nate! <laughs> oh, Nate is right, so stay with us. So, we've been uh, watching our own Nate Burka step out of the box and into the shoes of one busy stay-at-home mom of three. And so far, the two old, older children are safely at school. Two-year-old Brayden is safe and sound and passed out in his car seat. Let's get back to the action here. Hey, Brayden, are you hungry? Hmm? Right. OK. I feel like a really bad father, bad parent right now, because he didn't eat. And I'm really not doing a good job. I had it down there for a minute. I found the train. <laughs> also on Dana's to-do list for the day, pick up part of Brittany's cheerleading outfit. Hi there. Hi. Shh. Sorry. Can I have a pair of navy medium girls spankies? Sure. Thank you very much. <laughs> OK, so I have to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Are you a parent? Yes. Am I a terrible person because he was supposed to eat lunch at 1230, but we were, like, rushing, and he did eat half of a chocolate chip cookie, but he said no lunch, and he fell asleep in the car? What would you do? Do what you did. Really? Let yes. him sleep? Yeah. Are you a little bit hungry? Yeah? Can we do this really quickly? We need pretzels, cookies, crackers, no. Where are the granola bars that everyone likes in your house? You know what? I'm going the wrong way. I'm giving you this because you didn't have lunch yet, and we have to be in school line in 15 minutes. Thank you very much. You know what you and I are going to do? and it's gonna be really fun while we wait for your brother and sister, we're gonna have a picnic. But first, I need to check your diaper. Okay, this is gross. Perfect. We're gonna go have a picnic right over here. Here you go. Where are you going? Here, will you eat a bite of this? Raiden. Yeah. One more bite, one more bite. Here. Okay, done. Hey, buddy. How was school? <laughs> Is there anywhere you guys want to go before we go home? You want to go to the dollar yeah, store? Don't have any money. I have money. Do I feel a little field trip coming on? Yeah. Dollar store? <laughs> All right. We'll okay, swing by the. Okay, guys. Why don't we take five minutes? You can each pick out something. That's cool. Oh, sweet. Brayden. Oh, sweet. <laughs> sweet. 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 Oh, sweet. Brit, Brian, we're out the door. Let's get some hot dogs. Come here. You want to stay down there? One more sip of juice. Good boy. Great. He's had, like, one vitamin this entire day. Thanks, Brian. Where's the little guy? Okay. It's exactly 12 hours since this started, and I literally feel like I've been hit by a truck. Oh, Nate! Oh, Nate. Yes, buddy? I need shoes on. You need shoes on, I know. Let's do shoes, huh? E -e -a -a. What about this one? You want me to push you? Like this? Whoa. Hey, Brayden, come here. Let me put your shoes back on, though, while you run around, OK? Uh-uh, Brayden. Brayden, see this line right here? This is good. This is dangerous. Good. Dangerous. Also dangerous. See the line? No. No, 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 no. Not a game. Usually, Dana whips up a four-course dinner, but Nate whips out the phone book. Hi, can I place an order for delivery, please? Um, one order of beef with cashews, one order of steamed vegetables with fried rice on the side. OK. Dinner is ready, so I'm going to go tell Mark and the kids that I need them to wash up and come to the table. And they'll be waiting for their mom when she, she arrives. Uh-oh, who's here? Hi, guys. Did you get me dinner? Uncle Nate treat you good. So fun. So fun.
Let's take a look at Nate's accomplishments and your accomplishments for the day. OK. All right. This is what moms do every day. Every day. I actually didn't get to a couple of things. Like what? Laundry. You didn't get to laundry. Laundry's I tried. big. Well, I laundry's know. big or I nobody know. wears clothes. I know. I yes. know. The kids are like wearing dirty clothes. It's me. And not eating. It's wonderful. Drove kids to school, emptied and loaded the dishwasher, set the table, put on a video for Brayton, read Brayton a book, made tomorrow's lunches, changed Brayton's shirt, made a fort for Brayton, three diaper changes, took Brayton for haircut, buy perfume for mom, mowed, trained at the zoo, shopped for Brittany, went grocery shopping, took Brayton to get lunch, had a picnic, picked up kids from school, took kids shopping, ate hot dogs, played with kids outside, multiple shoe changes, ordered and served dinner. <laughs> <laughs> That is pretty. And what did you learn? What did you learn? I mean, really, isn't it? Uh, I mean, I am. I've said this yeah. for years that to raise children, whether you are a mother, and for the most part in our country, mothers are the stay-at-home uh, parent. I think it is the hardest job in the world to do that job well. It is. I think it's. I think it's absolutely one of. I have such respect. I really do. Moms need an assistant at the end of the day, because people keep me on 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 track the all day long. Moms need a wife. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Moms <laughs> need a wife. When we come back, we're going to talk to Dana about her day off. We'll be right back. Great. Coming up, a decorator at heart. See what Nate's left behind for Dana. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Plus... Brayden, what's up? Look at me. A sweet Skype reunion. All that's next. You're a Power Ranger? I'm a <laughs> You aren't really a Power Ranger. You might be a little bit too little. Try it again. Try it again if you're a Power Ranger. Let's see. <laughs> I think you're too little. I think you're almost a Power Ranger. <laughs> Dana, who's the mom of those cutie pie kids, is joining us on Skype from her kitchen. Hi, Dana. Hi, Oprah. Hi, Dana. Hi, Nate. How did you spend your day off? I spent my day off doing every single one of my favorite things. I got to go shopping. I got to go out to lunch with friends and my twin sister. I also got a manicure and a pedicure and got to relax out by the pool. So you felt comfortable leaving Nate with your children? <laughs> Nate was such a natural Uncle Nate fatherly type. I mean, it was it fit him well. He okay. wasn't nervous, so I wasn't nervous. And I figured, you know, he had backup. He had his mom's phone number. He had my husband's phone number. So <laughs> all good. All good. All good. So when's the last time you'd given that kind of day to yourself? That would have been my honeymoon probably 11 years ago that That's I had amazing. taken a day to do everything I wanted. That is amazing. Amazing. Is, so is Brayden anywhere nearby? Brayden is nearby. He, he wouldn't miss Nate for the world. Oh, Brayden. 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 Hi. Who's there? Who's that? Hi. 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 Hi, Brayden. Are you having fun? Are you having fun? Yeah. I heard you guys kind of bond. Whispers. You can see you guys bond. No, you know, yeah. I have to say, you've raised, obviously, your kids seem very That's well. Mommy. Yeah. <laughs> your kids seem very well mannered, but I have to, yeah. I have to say that that is, the, that is one of the most well mannered two year olds I've seen. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, he's he amazing. Is, he's a good, good job. Boy. Good job. <laughs> well, earlier, we got a glimpse of Dana's closet situation prenate. And I hear that there have been some changes. Take a look. So I wanted to leave the house not better than I found it, but easier than I found it. Meyer, you know, like Meyer, 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 Meyer. Meyer. Oh, <laughs> How cool, huh? It used to be like that small. Brit, go ahead. Oh, Check it out. Nice. So how cool is this, huh? <laughs> It's awesome, huh? Mark, please look at this. Oh, so that's, you know. Oh my god. You like that? Look at this. Oh my god. Just check your closet. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> so go on in. Cool. 
And then oh. all of your things pull out. All of these slide out for your shoes. This in container order. store? Yeah, they did this. Container store did everything. They worked wow. here all day. Wow, that's terrific. So in addition, Nate comes and cleans up the closet too. <laughs> wow, so all that stuff came from the container store. Yeah, and they sent teams of people there actually. Yeah. Because I didn't have time, as you could see. Yeah. yeah. I was keeping Braden from running in front of a truck. That's right. So, yeah. That's right. Dangerous. Yes. Not, okay. not. Also dangerous. Also dangerous. <laughs> Thank you, Dana, so much. Thank you so much for Thank allowing you. us to spend this time with you. Thank you. Thank you both. Okay, the, and the container store. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thanks to the Container Store for redoing Dana's closets in record time. Your storage and organizational solutions will make this mom's life a whole lot easier. For everybody watching at home, the Container Store has a great offer for Oprah viewers. Go to Oprah.com to find out more. Next, why we pulled this teacher out of class. <laughs> and later, they dreamt of this moment for more than 20 years. That's coming up. Oh, this is going to be fun. OK, audience, this is Vicky. And this is a picture of Vicky with her best friend, Kathleen, <laughs> in high school. Now, they've been friends for more than 40 years, I hear. And their 25th high school reunion is coming up in one week. And I understand Kathleen doesn't have a date. Kathleen is a divorced single mom with triplets. She's also a fifth grade teacher. Uh -huh. So she's super busy, mm -hmm. and she didn't know what to do about the reunion because she didn't have a date. And I want Kathleen to walk into that reunion with the cutest guy in the entire world on her arm looking fabulous. Okay. I want her to go with Nate. <laughs> OK. Cutie Pie Nate is going to go with Kathleen. Okay. Happy to. That's in yep. your, your, oh, I'm, okay, yeah, that's why we're absolutely. here. So here's what we're going to do. Kathleen's a fifth grade teacher, love teachers. <clears throat> and right now she's in her classroom. So we've asked the principal of her school, that's principal, Mrs. O'Shea. Hi, Mrs. O'Shea. Hi, how are you? Good. We're all whispering, you're not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to call Kathleen to her office, okay? So, Mrs. O'Shea, you can go ahead and call Kathleen to your office. OK, thank you. OK. I hope she didn't think she's in trouble. <laughs> I know. Can you uh, please get Kathleen as soon as you can down to my office? I need to see her right away. Thank you. I would think I was in trouble. I have never been called to the principal's <laughs> office. No. Were you called to the principal's office? OK. <laughs> OK. So we're, Nate and I are going to step aside, and Vicky's going to talk to Kathleen. OK? Remember, she knows nothing about this, so. <laughs> Waiting on Kathleen. Here, Here she go. comes. Okay. Okay. Great. Hi, Kathleen. I'm sorry. Could you come here? There's somebody who wants to see you. Vicky. Hi, Kath. It's what nice. are you doing? I want to tell you that I got you a date for our high school reunion. And he's right here with me. Do you want to meet him? You look beautiful. Yeah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, but focus. I want you to meet your date. Are you ready? Yeah, but I look like a horror. You are going to your high school reunion with Nate Berkus. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't look you don't horrible, Kathleen. <laughs> well, I'm so excited to be your date for your reunion. Um, and Thank actually, you. Are, you, are you excited about this? Yes, I'm extremely excited. This oh, is well, fabulous. Well, here's the deal, too. I'm going to take you and spend the day with you and get you ready for your reunion as well in New York City. So yeah. everything, like clothes, hair, like the whole thing. <laughs> you should come, too. Sure. Yeah. We're going to have like a whole day together, and then I'm going with you to your reunion. <laughs> oh, baby! Yeah. <laughs> there's someone else, actually. There's someone else that wanted to say hi to you as well, actually. OK, so, but yeah, hi, nice I know. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And, and, and also. And I wanted to say hi to you, too. <laughs> hi. Hi, Kathleen. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How you doing, girl? How you doing? You're phenomenal. I just want to say you're an amazing 
woman, and the woman next to you is also so amazing. I know this is your, this is your best friend. I, I love this because this is what best friends do for each other. Yep. She has gotten you a date with Nate for your high school reunion, <laughs> the whole makeover and the whole shebang. I, I'm I'm really excited for I'm, yes. And you're handling this really well. Really well. You're, handling you're doing this, great. You're really handling this really, really, really well. So tell me, did you think you were in trouble when you uh, got called to the principal's office? Yeah, it made me a little scared. I was <laughs> quite frightened. I was in the middle of um, explaining the concepts of a controlled study. Uh, <laughs> I think the kids are really happy right now, actually. <laughs> the kids are like, yes. Yeah. Well, this is so exciting. We're going to be there when Nate takes Kathleen to her high school reunion. So thank you, baby. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, this is going to be fun. And thank I you, Kathleen. You, and yep. thank you, Mrs. O'Shea. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. We'll be right back. Thank you, Mrs. O'Shea. Thank you. Next, watch out, reunion. These are gorgeous. What about that? Yeah. No. Yeah. All right. Nate's never done this before. <laughs> Coming up. So that was fun. Very fun. We're back. And uh, we've changed our clothes. That's because it's been a few weeks since we surprised Kathleen with the news that Nate would be her date for her high school reunion. <laughs> Uh, can you just imagine you're strolling in with Mr. Cutie Pie himself here? That's a good comeback. That's a good... So Kathleen's dream date begins in Manhattan where she meets Mr. Style face-to-face -face at Saks Fifth Avenue. Check this out. Hi. 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 Hi, Vicky. How are you? Hi, how are you? Exactly. I mean, so, are you so excited? I'm, I'm asking if you're excited. I think you're excited. We're here at Saks Fifth Avenue, and what we're going to do is um, we're going to shop. We're going to come up with the hottest look for you on the face of the earth. Are right, you ready? I'm so ready. All right, guys, let's go inside. Come on. Okay. This is really fun for me, obviously, because I've never done this before. You've been best friends for 40 years. And Vicky, tell me a little bit about the backstory of like why you wanted to make this happen for, for Kathleen. Kathleen is the kind of person who has always lived her life right. She's always done the right thing. She's the most honest person I know. And, you know, life threw her a major curveball. If you don't mind tell, telling me a little bit about your journey up until now. A big part of my life was uh, my struggle, actually, with um, infertility. OK. And that was a very, very dark and difficult time um, for me. It took six years before I was able to have um, my, my children. Right. At six weeks pregnant, I saw three little heartbeats. That's amazing. But soon after Kathleen's babies were born, she says her marriage fell apart. And her divorce became big news in her small town. It was very much, very much out there. It was a story. When I leave the room, like, they tell she's the story. She's the one that. Exactly. Right, exactly. Vicki hopes this is going to give people something new to talk about. I wanted two things. One was I wanted um, her to have this great experience. And the other is, I wanted to change her story. Yeah. I didn't want her to be Kathleen, the one who got a divorce when she had five-month-old triplets. Well, clearly for Kathleen, this isn't going to be just about kicking up her heels and feeling pretty. This could be the beginning of a whole new path for her. But sure doesn't hurt if she's got a new pair of pumps. <laughs> <laughs> How high is the heel that you'll actually wear? I don't know. These are gorgeous. Oh, that's cool. Super cool. All right, so that's Excellent. something we should probably try. Oh, Grandma Sack. You know what? That Grandma is the old Kathleen. Watch out. <laughs> Reunion. <laughs> Can I just see, like, one of these big earrings? Like wow. that one, maybe? Nice. Teardrops. All right, so here we are, third floor. By the way, the designer floor. We're not in sportswear today. Kathleen. Yeah. <laughs> what about that? Eh. No. no, all right. Leather, which is pretty hot. <laughs> That's cool. That is a hot boot. <laughs> hey, what's going on in there? We haven't even seen one thing. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these shoes. <laughs> yeah, 
that those are pretty cool. How do you feel in this dress? I'm not totally sure. Okay. I don't love it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, are you supposed to see what I look like before our date? Oh, no. I know. Well, wait. <laughs> Too dressy. Yeah. Too like mother of the bride. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. This is very hard work. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Even if it's like not really on, hey. Okay. Like even if kind it's not really on, like just if it's. Just hanging. No. No. <laughs> it's great. Great. I love, love this outfit. Good. That was a lot of work. It was, right? I know. It's oh much easier God. picking a sofa, I'll tell you. <laughs> I had no idea. So we've been shopping all day. It is time to eat, <laughs> Thank right? Goodness. After lunch, Nate and the ladies head down Fifth Avenue to the salon of celebrity hair colorist Rita Hazan. Hey, guys. Hi, yeah, so here's hey. the other group. Kathleen, Hi, Rita. How are you? Gather around. Gather around the queen. Gather around, gather around the queen. Hi. Nate and I agree that you are meant to be a gorgeous blonde bombshell. <laughs> right. <laughs> Makeup artist Mally Roncal focuses on one of Kathleen's most striking features. The thing I can do to help you is give you the smoky eye yeah. that Mr. Nate requested. Then an edgy new cut by Juan Carlos. Uh, Kathleen is actually in the process of getting everything done. I am just sitting here, like, kind of hanging out, waiting to see how amazing she looks for tomorrow night. This is going to be great. The big reunion coming up next. Bye. When we come back, the new Kathleen sees her old classmates. <laughs> That's coming up. Well, uh, the big day has arrived, and Kathleen's 25th high school reunion is just moments away. The excitement at our house is building, so let's take a look. Can you imagine? Yeah. We're about to go to Kathleen's 25th reunion. So excited to see what she looks like. He's here! He's here! He's here! Hi! Hi! Hi. Hi. Yeah. How are you? He's here! He's here. <laughs> Kathleen, your date is here. Nate's ready to see the results of his first head-to-toe makeover. <laughs> wow. Hi, handsome. Oh, hey, gorgeous. Oh, I missed you since yesterday. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. We're going to have keep so them. much fun tonight. <laughs> Hi. Ew. Wow. Oh, my date. Oh, boy. <laughs> And now the dashing duo is ready for their grand entrance. Okay, time to go in for the party. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Hey, how are you? Nice to meet you. Thank you. Where's Julie out there? What's up? Kathleen's known around town as the karaoke queen, so Nate knew just what to do to make this night pitch perfect. the top. So, I mean, that's quite an experience. Do you feel like you have a new story? Yes, I do have a new story. And it's a wonderful and positive one. And I'm just so grateful for it. Thank you. So what did you think? She was smiling all the next day, I heard. Um, she was smiling. Every time I looked over at her, she just, that night too, she just had the biggest smile on her face. And Nate, you were so wonderful. He was the perfect date. He was by her side the whole night and just 
Well, that is a perfect date, not to bring you in the room and then see you later. Yes. Exactly. Yes. yes. But I do have one thing to say. You never called me the next day. <laughs> I to do that. That's <laughs> right. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Reunion. We'll be right back. Okay. Coming up, they've been swooning over him since high school. And they have no idea he's waiting backstage. Rick Springfield, next. So I told her we'd still be friends. <laughs> okay. I think you, Kathleen, and Gail need to get together and do a trio. That's right. Next so, road trip. Next road trip. <laughs> so I understand that you and Vicky, you've been friends for 40 years. Over. That's what Nate said. Really? Yeah, we, since we were two. Since you were two. So we have some pictures of you hanging out together. Let's take a look at those mm -hmm. pictures. Oh, oh, God. Eighth grade. Yep. Eighth grade. Where was, <laughs> that, taken? Wedding. Where was that taken? Our Where was that taken? Our friend's our wedding. wedding. Okay. Where was that taken? Rick Springfield, Springfield concert. concert. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> you came with some new, you're on the road a lot, and so for him to get here, it took a lot, so we thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> but Rick, you came with some news. With yeah, the I, girls. I would have called you the next day, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That's ungentlemanly not to <laughs> I have to go to another shoot. <laughs> Always an excuse, Nate. Always, Always an excuse. excuse. You would have oh, been okay. better at karaoke as well. Uh, <laughs> <you know. laughs> okay, so, yeah, so, so uh, Kathleen and Vicky, I would like to invite you along on the second annual Rick Springfield no. and Friends Cruise. On the cruise! By Rose, Rose Tours and Travel. And if you want to, I mean, if you want to. Uh, look, look at where you're going. If you want to. You know uh, everything about the cruise. Yeah, we know about the cruise. Yeah. We're, leaving, we're leaving from Miami on the 12th of November, going down to Cozumel. And oh. if you'd like to come along, I'd like to invite this you guys. This is the Rose Tours cruise, I'm going to have a heart attack. Rose, Rose Travel and, and Tours, yes. Oh, my God. You what? I'm going to have a heart attack. 
back on the stage. No, don't. Oh, it's okay, I'm a doctor. The yes. No, it's right. no, no, a right. doctor, he can help you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so how many people are normally on that? Uh... Uh, last year, there was 1,200. And it was actually an amazing thing because uh, uh, I'm on the, the, the cruise the whole time. Oh, my God. And, <laughs> and we end up on the beach in Cozumel where we do a, a show on the beach, and then end we all go the swimming. Beach in Cozumel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me just say, your story has changed. Your story has changed. <laughs> so thank you, Nate. That was so oh, exciting. Thank pleasure. you, Nate. Thank and thank you, you Rick. You oh, my thank God. Thank you, Vicky, for the idea. So See what much. friends do for each yeah. other. <laughs> it's a great friendship story. Great friendship show. Have fun, guys. Kathleen and Vicky.